Okay, so um, uh, before we talk about three of well, at least verified two of the most boring IEMs that I've ever. This is a this is the boring one. This is the boring one. This is the boring one. Thank you for letting me get the boring IEMs out of the way. And I want to sponsor it by Triangle, because when uh, the depression sets in from all these, I know that I can take these uh, Triangle AIO Twin self-powered speakers that are currently connected via Wi-Fi, and this Triangle AIO right there, Triangle AIO Twin. It's not Bluetooth, it's connected via Wi-Fi, so there's no loss. So if you'd like some of the best sounding self-powered speakers you can get under $1,000, Triangle AIO Twin, linked in the description and in a pinned comment. Severance, by the way, amazing show, not sponsoring the channel, but creepy. Like the creep, the creep in, in the Severance show is great. And it's, it's even creepier if you're listening on Triangle AIO Twin speakers, which are actually I'm blocking with merch. The merch is blocking the Alaras, which are the previous revision of this. So these being the slightly better ones, I have the lids on top, you can't see it. But yeah, no, so link to those. And we'll get on to the review, and I, 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 I'll finish Severance soon, don't worry. Um, no one has Apple TV, though, so you know how you're getting it. <sighs> okay, so, three IAMs showed up at different times from different places, and the, 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 the big ones here are the URDs. These are the Kanira URD. Erd, U-R-D, just Erd. It's like if you were going to name some fucking IMs, don't call them the Erds, but they did anyway. And these were specifically special to me because they were like, hey, we'd like to do a collaboration with you like we do with Critical. How about the Erds? And they send me the Erds. And so I critically listened to the Erds for like a week. And I was like, no, don't put my name on this, please, God. And then the 7 Hertz Eternal show up. Seven Hertz Timeless, one of the best IEMs you could buy. Linked in the description. Zeos, make sure the Seven Hertz Timeless comes right under the Triangle AIO Twin speaker support thing because the Seven Hertz Timeless are amazing. And then you look at the Seven Hertz Eternals, and it's the same design, only they put like optical glass behind it. So it's just the, literally the sexiest looking beast you've ever fucking seen. Look at this thing. Deathly boring. Like boring, boring. Like I, I cried a little bit internally. Ex not not externally, internally cried. And then I had a, a guest over who knows I am is really well, and I explained to him that I want to do a three a three part series. I want to do the, these are boring and these are boring. Do you know of another boring I am that I happen to have that I've not listened to yet? And he's like, you have the Kiwi ears. These are neutral as fuck. Give these a whirl with these two. So I haven't heard these yet. These other two. Heard for a long time, I tried, like I, my fucking soul like reached out to try to be like, I gotta love, can I love the Erds? Kinira wants to do a collaboration on the Erds. Can I? And the answer is no. Um, the Seven Hertz Eternal showed up and I'm just like, wow, that looks like a badass like ATI graphics card from the 90s. But then you you realize this, the, the truth of it is, there's just this baby Tiffany blue box. And it's like, oh God, why is this, this dragons in blue? Is it? So now the Kiwi ears are the unknown. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna stop the camera. I'm gonna, I'll start from left to right. I think this is a price order. I'm pretty sure this is price order. And um, I'll give you a, a very quick, quick, quick rundown. Now here's the thing, before before you stop watching this video, cause I don't wanna watch bad IM Zeos. Boring doesn't necessarily mean bad. Boring can mean neutral, dead neutral, fucking tits neutral. Like, I need to go mixing, mastering. I need, where are my monitoring IEMs, boys and girls? Because usually you have to go out and get like JNL, J, JRs, JL, whatever, the expensive one. I forget the, I forget the actual name of them. The, no, the JLs are the subwoofers. JHR, HJ, whatever. You usually have to spend lots of money to get a very neutral IEM. So I will assess of these three, at least, if any of them are worth using for actual music assessment. Because enjoyment, as of right now, at least two of these, I don't enjoy music on. The question will come, do I actually want someone to purchase a set of these or these or these to assess and work with? Because sometimes that's way more important than fun. I like fun. I'm just a, some guy. I'm just some schmuck. I'm the fucking I'm just a guy. But if you're like an actual working person who needs to listen and to know mastering levels and mixes, and then there's no, it's not bass exaggeration, it's not treble exaggeration. If you need, if you need neutral, one of these might be your answer. Let's find out. All right. So 
moving from left to right because amps matter, especially with IMs, especially with sensitive IMs, and I've got a bunch of them here to play with. Um, TA26 tube amp because it's a dynamic. It's a, it's a, the internals are dynamic. I need to open the website up. I didn't do that. I usually do that on the uh, thing. I believe Linsoul sent me these. So let's see. The Triangle Sponsorship. Hey, hey oh, twin. Um, I did the Zephones previously. We need to look up how many Eternals can there be? Eternal. Yeah, Linsoul's real slow today. G good. Any day now. Boom, there you go. $250. So these are n twice the price of the Timeless. 14.5 millimeter LCP dynamic driver, laboratory level, CNC machine, OCC silver cable. It's these are the works. And they don't sound bad. That's the thing. None of these sound bad. Going from the TA26 Musician Andromeda, solid amp. They're very clear. Okay, moving down, down to the Emotiva Base X unlocked. So the A2 Mini unlocked, but the volume control is super finite, so I get to tune it in. I can hear the noise floor. This sounds decent. I, I listen to this. This amp, this speaker amp. Now moving across the table to the own X1S GT with its sibling, the XC1 for clock timing. Right, there's something there. It's doing something. It's not as fun as the Emotiva, but it's it's doing something. And then finally, this has been a consistent amp on every IM I've reviewed. This is the Wall of Topaz being fed from my musician Pegasus R2R DAC. All right, go back. Go back to the song, but it's still going. Oh yeah, no oh, yeah. This is so boring. Dead Mouse. All right. These are analytical as fuck. And that's not a problem. That's, I hate the rocking. The, the, the. Analytical is not a problem. It's just that... There's no soundstage. On any amp, they sound mono in their ball of sound. <sighs> Flowbots fight with tools. That's a, that's a good Rage Against the Machine-esque song. And it's like, mm, but it's just like, mm-mm. It's very balanced. It's very balanced and very boring. Like, I'm so upset because the wires, like, it's nice, it's brown. I don't know, brown. This is usually the warm, soft boy that will fix fix an IEM. But here, I, I'm actually running to the base X for a little bit of distortion. Oh, God, they're so pretty. Yeah, so, um... I, I don't know. I don't know as someone who, who would mixes and masters why I would keep this clean because of the, the glass. They're the most beautiful IMs. I think one of the most beautiful. Like they, that's striking because it's not a flat piece of glass. It's a curved piece of optical glass. So it, it changes as you like move and walk. Like if you wore these outside as like jewelry, I'd be fine if you spent $250 on these just to wear them as jewelry. That's fine with me. They they take a MMCX. They're the exact same shape as the Timeless. I've got my Dakoni tips on them. Here are the tips they come with, by the way. It's a plethora of tips. And I did try the tips, too. You can see some missing. Because, like, maybe they don't want foam. Maybe they want this other thing. Maybe, 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 maybe. Didn't work. Didn't work to me. They just, they don't, they don't make the, my, I want my balls to, like, like crunch up into my body because of how good it sounds. And these are just... I can't, I couldn't listen to them anymore. I just, and it's not like I was in a depressive state. I get, everyone gets depressed every now and then, and these are not the ones you want to have for that. So here are the tips you get. Look at the case. Ah, oh, aluminum. Look at the hinge work. Look at the magnetic open, like, ah, oh, it's such a nice fucking case. Actually, it feels like it needs to be greased. Yeah, it could be, use a little bit of grease in there. But that's like, it's the same as the 700. So the the IMs that are half the price of the Eternals, the Timeless, 
have more low end, more soundstage, more natural sounding, just, just great. You'd think if you double the price, you'd be able to get, maybe these are the perfect measuring I am. I don't know, I don't look at graphs, but maybe these measure, probably move you over here, measure perfectly and they're the best IMs fucking possible. I don't wanna to listen to them. So I'm just gonna move on real quick because we'll, we'll obviously fade back into different head IMs as we go. So now we'll move on to the Kiwi years see what these things are offering I'll open up the web page and then i'll compare and contrast i'll we'll get to the urds and compare and contrast because so far these are not the, all these amps including a tube we've got a tubes we got class a i think that's class a you class a man mission class a we got a big fucking class h speaker in. we got the fucking the owns are using the, the special like headphone mode and we got this thing which is 1100 portable coming off an art it's all these possibilities to make it sound good and it just boring so moving on uh, uh. oh fuck was i testing the kiwi ears wow what a great sleep i got um so these which i'm not gonna take out of my head yet are 500 dollars one of these so twice the price of the eternals at least and linsoul with the coming up L's twice in a row. Um, at least these, where did they go? Go back. No, that's high if I go. I don't want to go high if I go. I want Kiwi ears. There we go. $500. At least they specifically say they are a monitor. They are professional monitor. They're not for, stop having fun. By the way, this is a single 14 millimeter dynamic. Um, Equally as boring, but probably more competent, eight balanced armature three-way crossover with three soundbore fucking crazy bitch. Um, custom audio file cable, which is actually very nice. It's a very nice cable. I'm using an IFI adapter on it, but beautiful fucking stainless steel. Not balanced, but we'll get to the, the thing. Uh, a perfect equilibrium of bass, mids, and treble. It's like it's like perfect. It's like M Morty standing on perfect level. Only instead of having an orgasm, you just fall asleep. Driven by the pursuit of key years of algamation of technology, blah blah blah. blah. It's an all-purpose performance monitor. I, I that could either mean IM an in-ear monitor, and every IM is, an, is a monitor. But I think they're specifically talking about for use in monitoring, mixing, and mastering, because these could do that. I plugged them into everything now. A hundred times. And I was sh fucking... All right, they're slightly... They're, the treble is, like, there, man. It is there. It's not overly trebly until you get to a song that you know, the, like, System of a Down came on. And I've never wanted to both nap and cry during System of a Down. Because it's got no energy. And then the treble was just reaching up to the point where I was like, oh, this is poorly recorded. Apparently. Beatles, savory truffle. Nope. How to destroy angels. Slightly harder to drive than the Eternals because there's like eight drivers in each one. It's not a bad listen. It's just not. Like, I don't even hear if I pause this. The noise floor is there, but I could confuse it for something happening behind me. It's like, is that my air conditioner running or the noise floor on the Emotiva? Tube doesn't really do much good with it. I was I was on the tube just now. The rain has gone. How to destroy angels is great. So yeah, this is um good pick. My friend picked a good. This is a great other perfect. This is perfect. It's exactly what it's for. It's for exactly this. It's for being boring. You're you're looking for a boring fucking I am that is telling you exactly what your music sounds like with no coloration at all. And I mean like none. Like, it, Anush Kavar, whatever the hell his name is with that blackest black that he's a piece of shit about it. He should buy Kiwi ears because these have no color. Wait, black is all colors, isn't it? And white is a lack of colors. I forget how it works. Color theory is weird. Um, but yeah, no, none of that, none of that face. That's me crying because these are $500 and I've had them. I checked. They were sent to me last April. 
So now it's May of the next year. So I've had them for over a year. And I don't... I think me not reviewing them probably caused them to sell more than if I would have actually reviewed them. They're very competent in their job, too. I look at this from a perspective of not Zeos, the audio dude, who's just like, let's have fun listening to music and enjoy our lives. No, no, no. No fun today. Today is the... F no, there's dirt. What is this? This is not meat regulations. Only black mouse pads. That's what it feels like. I should have had a blank wallpaper on. Just no wallpaper. By the way, wallpapers um, no longer available in the description through Imgur. You have to get them in the Resilio Sync Hoard because of YouTube reasons. Because I don't trust YouTube. So if you want to know, learn more about that, just you'll figure it out. Um, God, I just, all right, let's take them out of my ears. They're not very um, good looking. They've, they're like black and and chrome and silver. And it looks like, actually, no, I take that back. There's some interesting shit going on in here. It looks like there's like chunks of carbon suspended in a clear like adhesive. And then I read, and apparently inside of here, there is an ultraviolet reactive paint. So if you take them out, you know, you're probably not mixing and mastering and the sun hits it for a while, they'll turn blue. Like there'll be streaks of blue in there. And like, that's kind of cool. But not in a five hundred dollar mastering I am. Like that you're never gonna you should be listening to these like in on a review a desk with sliders and mixers, and I'm trying to assess your shitty mix. These are the ones you bring in. Oh man, he's got the Kiwi ears. He's here to assess our mix. This is what you that's what they do. That's all they do. They're slightly bright, but only in when the songs call for it. What the fuck is that? Oh, Jet Set Radio Future. Yeah, no, this will probably be painful. Mm, I wouldn't I wouldn't go there. So I mean they're five fucking hundred dollars and if you're interested in a set of five hundred dollar honestly miss mix, bleh, mixing and mastering IMs check out the yard sale from the first to the tenth of every month here on Z reviews because I'm going to sell the shit out of these. These I have like two hundred fifty dollars they are so fucking pretty and there's there was glimmers of hope and, and different amps. these <laughs> <laughs> These have no hope. They are what they are. And I'm sure someone out there is like, fuck, Zios, I need those. I need the most boring, most new, plain eight. I need eight balanced armatures all feeding me exactly the frequencies that I want to know about. Because, I mean, if it's a bassy song, I can tell. It just doesn't sound bassy. There's no sound stage. Imaging is very good. Imaging, but here's the thing. Normal headphone here. This headphone here... And then the imaging is good. So it doesn't even have like that normal sound. They're narrower than normal. And there's certainly no soundstage. And then like everything is just flat, like a pancake. Like take your music, throw it in the street, run it over with a steamroller a few times. There's your music. So would I listen to the Kiwi ears for fun? No. Do I think they sound better than the Eternals? For half the price, the Eternals are 250 I think these are more capable. I was hearing things in songs that I'm like, ooh. That's the thing that's happening, and I don't fucking care. That's that's where we are in this this review so far. I'm hearing everything going on in the music, and it, it's actually making me sort of dislike music, like in general. Like I'm, I may quit because the, these these sort of headphones. But now we have to go on to the last ones, the most expensive, uh, the Erds, the Kinera Erds, which I haven't listened to in a while because I was that that actually put me into a funk. That I'm gonna let you finish. But Erd made the most boring headphone of all time. We'll get, we'll get to it. We'll get to it right now. We're, we're getting to it. We're coming back to it. We're coming back. Oh, by the way, before I leave, the packaging for a $500 headphone, this is not. Oh, God. Like, here's a nice case. It comes with some tips. It comes with a few tips and a Velcro tie and a decent case. It says Kiwi ears and a nice-ass wire. And it's five hundred dollars. Meanwhile, this comes with like these cases that are beautifully set up in the seven hundred aluminum fucking case. Come on, that's that's a way better deal than the case of this, except for the wires. Real nice on this. Moving on to the Erds. All right, at least the Erds try. Like I'm gonna give them that. Now that I've been through the Kiwi years, I, I I'm gonna give the Erds the benefit of the doubt of at least they fucking tried. Um, they're Kinera. Kinera makes the Norns and the Nanas and the Nana 2.0 and the Nana 2.0 Pro and the, they make lots of things that I love. 
and I should have just came when I heard the Erds. Because these are two electrostats, two <laughs> dynamic drivers, and one balanced armature. That isn't even the right ratio of things. Not one dynamic and two balanced armatures, two dynamics and one balanced armature, and then you shovel two electrostats in there. So we're talking about from very simple to eight BAs to only one BA, but two dynamics and two electrostats. It's like, what the fuck? And I guess if I had to pick of the three, because now that I've experienced the Erds again in a row after these two, the Erds at least have some balls. The, the bass comes in and you feel it a little bit. And the sound stage isn't quite as narrow, but it's not wide, so it's still a bit narrow. But, and I'm using them, by the way, balanced, because this uh, particular set of IMs, you can interchange the heads. You could do either 2.5 or 3.5 unbalanced or balanced with a 4.4. And I'll be fucking, you'd be shit out of luck if you think I'm going to make it a fair fight between any of these. Somebody needs to take advantage of something. Yeah, I can almost be confused 20% of the time that these are good IEMs. Like, good, like, I enjoy them IEMs. Like, that, that's as good as we're going to get in the, this fucking entire video is like maybe I don't notice that they're extremely boring for a oh, fifth of the time. That's not bad. But then you start listening and it just, it just, dro it's like droning. And the thing is, these are very capable IMs, super fucking capable. They, they, they cover the entire frequency spectrum, but I don't find any of the songs I should be I, excited and interested to hear exciting or interesting to hear. Megalobox, the theme of, of Fujimaki. Real low bass, like boom, boom. And I hear bass, and it's sort of there, but then everything else is just happening, and I'm just assessing. This is an assessment set. These are just assessment. Assess with these. By the way, I want to read some of the... Uh, first, we'll look at the uh, thing. I'll pause it. I'll pull them out. Uh, they are interesting, to say the least, because I've never seen a white and, like... like the whole point of the Erd is that Erd... I'll read the fucking box. Live only for honor. Again, on all sides. Uh, still waters run deep. Welcome to the lake of Erd. The past nymph called Erd. And she said, Whoever, whosoever sh will be the chiefest of future shall be servant of the past. And the, the story is, if you read the website, if you go to Hi-Fi Go and... Click on it where you could see the price tag for six hundred and fifty dollars. Six hundred and fifty dollars. You see that these are based on the goddess of the past because everything's gods of the past. Um, and this one has uh, a custom well underneath the tree of forever. Blah 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 blah. And so it's a well under the tree under the world tree, and her name is Erd, and she's a Norse mythology. Blah 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 blah. So these look like like the shore. And then descending into darkness, I could see the layers like this. Like, I got to give it to the creative team on this shit because it's like, these are very thick, first of all. Can I point out the thick? Like, if we look at the Kiwi ears, which have an 8BA. They are tiny compared to the Erds. Erds are huge. The Erds are thick boys or girls in this case, since it's a woman at the bottom of the lake. She's a goddess, all right? The past nymph. She controls history. Um, but they went with like a white, like a solid white, like sands, leaning into the, the, the depths that is the ocean or the well of the past. It's very, very romantic. It's very romantic. Um, and which makes them fucking huge, by the way. Um, the wire is uh, unspectacular. And uh, I think it's actually this weird color pattern. You could see it on the single wires here that go up to the IMs. It's silver and then gold but they're like spiraled with each other so you have a silver gold spiral in a single wire then you spin those into double wires and it's just it hurts to look at it looks like something's wrong like it feels like something's wrong it has that cool interchangeable head thing so you could change out to whatever uh tip you would like to use this is important in case you buy these in the yard sale and you can just you can pay top dollar for that um Using, again, the same tips. Uh, four s foam tips are here. I'm using a set of foam tips there. It comes with... I, I don't know if you're supposed to take this out. I don't think you're supposed to take this out, but um, 
I don't know who designed that. It's supposed to be glue. There's glue here. But if you want to take the tips out, you can take the whole bro blick. Yeah. That was brick and block. My brain was just chewing on them both. You can take the block out, and you have these 10 uh, silicone IMs. And you can put it down like a... Like, or you could hide your drug money back there. I put the little E-type thing for the final audio tips. Let's just reinsert that. That's where you hide. Honey, that's where the drug money is. Um, and I don't know what it is with the color of blue. Like this Tiffany-ish blue. Like everyone's going for, for... Well, this is like a dark royal blue. Like I like this blue. I don't hate this blue either. It's just a, that's a strange color. I guess you go in the water thing again. Um, more tips, by the way. Which ones are these? These are the... These are Kanira tips specifically so we got more tips in a in a in a baby blue with a little button so you can know that your 650 fifty dollar investment is safe in there um if i had to pick ones all right all right end of the review now zeos make the timestamps make it so that this is the this is where i discuss the final thing so again wallpaper available in the hoard in the description and only there unless you could figure out how to use the code to get to imger so, I plugged it into everything. I would like to plug it back in and listen to it, but I'm fucking done. I'm just, I can't. Uh, the most sensitive of the three is these. With all that shit in it, still the most sensitive. Probably because it's two dynamics. I would probably say the Kiwi ears are still the best for business. Like, for you actually doing mixing, mastering, and monitoring. I'd say, if that's your job but you don't take it too seriously and you might maybe want to feel something, a little bit of something some of the time when you're doing your job, get the urds. You're paying $150 more to get like a 20% a, a enjoyment bump, which is not a huge bump. By the way, thank you to my sponsor, Triangle, for the AIO Twins. Those speakers are way more interesting and better than uh, uh. They disconnected because they went to sleep, but they sound great. Um, way more interesting and better than anything on this table, although they are more expensive. Yeah, these are these are like the you want a Kanira I am, but you need to work, so you can't have the Nanas, which are amazing, fun, and great sounding. I'll link to those on HiFi. I'll link to the brothers of all of these, except I'll link to actual Kiwis, like the fruit for those, but. If you had a choice of the Erds or the Nanas, and you don't need to work, you get the Nanas for sure. If you need to work, though, you can, you can squeeze these into the budget. They boss, these are specifically designed to be a nymph. They say the word nymph on the box, so you, and they come with the paperwork from Battlestar Galactica. This is such a weird thing that they do. It's like, that's this is how the paper is in the future. Didn't you watch cartoons? This is how we read everything. The tuning concept, everyone has a different past, glory, sadness, happiness, but buried in the memories are vivid. But buried in the memories are vivid. Memories are like a book that is too hasty. I can't read any of this shit. I'm sorry. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not being paid enough for this. And I'm not even being paid for this, except by Triangle, who thank you for your AO twins. But even they're not paying enough for me to read all of this. This is a, this is a whole other price bracket we'll have to get into. Um... Yeah, I think we're going to completely forget about the Seven Hearts Eternals, except they're the most beautiful I am that's ever been made, and we're very sad about its passing. Kiwi ears are the most boring, but I can see them being... I've heard high-end monitoring headphones. I've heard, I know what you're aiming for when you want to listen to the purest form of the music. And I don't mean purest form like, oh, I'm a purist. No, no, no. If you're a purist and you like music, if you like music, these are not the head, none of these are your headphone or your IM, if you like music. This is someone who hates music, whose job is to get up every fucking day and listen to it to find the errors in it. That's not my job. You think that's my job? My job isn't to listen to music. My job is to enjoy myself. And if there happens to be music involved, I find the thing that I like to enjoy it with. This is not me. The only time I ever get serious about listening is the sound demos when I'm like monitoring on the on the big Neumanns, which are uncomfortable, and then mixing and then doing any sort of EQ changes in post on Audacity with either the Neumanns or the Sony CDS 900 STs, something or or even the big Tim socks, the thousand dollar Tim socks. Those are very neutral, but I still enjoy the fuck out of them. I don't enjoy the fuck out of any of these. These had like a glimmer of hope. The Erds were the glimmer. 
These were the ones that sound most like what I think you'd want a monitoring headphone this I am to sound like. And then these are just, I think people are going to buy them because they look good. And then they're going to be like, all right, this sounds all right. It's it's a $250 I am. Fucking Jesus. You can get the half price one. They are so much more enjoyable. All right, I'm done. Keep this review mel relatively short, under an hour, I hope. Um, yeah, thank you to everyone who sent these IMs. Thank you to Triangle for sponsoring this video. Um, that, that girl in the wallpaper is definitely not. And that's that's me starting this IM thing because I know I'm just like fuck. I don't care about any of these. They don't make my heart. No, never once in any of the tracks that I know I love did I actually go. Oh, I can't wait to hear some more of this. I just get it over with. Just fucking next track, next track, next track, next track, next track. Nothing is good. Nothing is good. Everything's sad. Welcome to the saddest Z reviews. Because it's just sad. Just the beauty of the beauty of the seven hertz timeless. There's no reason. Is that, Eternal, I'm sorry. Don't say timeless are good. Eternals are. Etern we got eternity. We've got fucking the well of the past. And we've got Kiwi ears. Actually, no, the specific name of the Kiwi ears. Hold on. I, I, I should bring that up. Not the Alaras. We're done with that. The Kiwi Ears are the orchestra. The Kiwi Ears Orchestra. They get two high ratings. I mean, that's more than the other ones get. So, I mean, there you go. Yeah, so the Kiwi Ears Orchestras, the Seven Hearts Eternals, and the Kanira Erds. You all go down in history as this is the most, the least fun I've had listening to music in a while, but it's not even like bad. Like if they were bad, I could fucking yell about them being bad, but they're so not my taste. Like it's like having black coffee. I don't even like coffee. So if you give me black coffee, I'd hate on it. But this is like black coffee with like a little bit of butter in it. And it's like, all right, I'll try it. And I'll, I'll, I'm, it's, I'm getting the benefits of the coffee, but I don't want to be, I don't want to drink it anymore. I'm done. I'm going to have a fucking margarita or something. Anything but this coffee. This is the blackest of coffee. And this is black coffee with a little bit of butter in it. And I'm done. Right? Good. Patreon and subscribe star. Support this channel. For when sponsors don't show up, you guys sponsor this channel. Um, Patreon and subscribe star. See reviews early. Participate in yard sales. Guess where all of these are going? Pretty much all of them. I, I, I was going to keep the Eternals. They look so good. But fuck it. All of them in the yard sale. Zeos, put them all in the yard sale. If you get $50 a piece for them, it'll be a worthwhile endeavor to ship them. Um, and then finally, there's uh, for $5, you get into the Sound Demo Oasis, where you get to hear every Sound Demo that's been disappeared from YouTube and losslessly for any of the new ones. And then if you want to ask me questions, like Zeos, what the fuck is wrong with you? $10 a month gets you in the behind the private scenes Telegram chat, which I've muted my phone because they just constantly ask me questions. But if you constantly ask me questions, I'll constantly answer you because you pay my bills. That's how it works. I dance for money like a monkey. And $10 a month, you get my full attention for, you're actually in that chat for three months if you dropped out. If, if you dropped out of the right month, you I wouldn't notice and you would be there for three months. But also, if you're in there, you get into a lifetime swap meet chat where you can buy, sell, and trade gear. So if you support this channel for $10 a month on Patreon or Subscribestar, you get into that where you can ask me any questions and then ask other people questions and say, what the fuck is wrong with Zeus? And then you can ask me what's wrong with me and then we're all, what's wrong with me? Right? 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 I'll see you all in the next one, which hopefully will be much less boring IMs. Although I will say, they will probably not be nearly... Well, these are kind of app. Oh, my fucking gods. The beauty is gone.